Hi guys, this is Mr. Adams from Midwood High School, and this video is going to be on naming halides, okay? And before we jump into the video, as always guys, please, please, please still be safe. I know things are getting better and winding down, but still exercise precautions. Okay, so halides, right? How do you recognize them? Now the good thing is, folks, they're on table R, okay? So halides, okay, are halocarbons carbons or alkyl halides, always are going to have the guys from group 17 in them, okay? And they actually gave you here the prefixes, how to name them. So F is fluoro, Cl will be chloro, Br will be bromo, I will be iodo, and so on. Their general formula, right? All represent some number of carbons, right? And X will be the halogen, these guys right here. So anytime you have a number of carbons with um, a halogen guy attached to it, Cl, Br, I, whatever, that's an example of a halocarbon or a halide. And they gave an example over here. And in the naming of these guys, right, they will always have an ane ending. So it's just like you're naming alkanes, but you have this group, this functional group of halide on it. Okay, so we'll do some examples in a second. So here are the rules, guys. You're going to identify the parent chain as usual. Now, also as usual, okay, we should be experts by now. We're going to choose the lowest numbers, right, in terms of the halogen. So we're going to come from either direction, right, to give us the lowest numbers for the halogen and the lowest number for the alkyl group. Remember, if we choose a direction, we stay with that direction. We don't mix and match. Okay. Now, at the end of it, in terms of naming, we will put the halogen part of it first, the guy from group 17, halogen part first, and any alkyl groups, if they're alkyl groups, they'll come afterwards, and then the parent. So let's do some examples. Okay, so we have this guy right here, right, in this corner, okay, this guy in the corner right here, and what we're going to do, we're going to put our a box around the longest number of carbons, okay? So we see that we have how many carbons? Only two, right? So what's two? What's the prefix of two? F, good. And since it's single bonded carbons, we're going to write ethane down, okay? Ethane. So we're going to write E T H A N E, ethane. Okay, good. So that's our parents, right? Now we have these groups hanging off the side right here. We have the bromine there, bromine there, and chlorine there. And we're not going to panic. So we can count from left to right, or we can count from right to left to see which um, direction gives us the lowest numbers possible. Now, guys, if I count from left to right, chlorine will be one on the carbon number one right here. That's carbon number one, and that'll be two. But if I come from right to left, both of these bromines would be one. So I'll get one comma one, right? So I'm going to choose, we're going to choose from right to left because both of the bromines get one. And the other direction, the bromines would have been two, two. So that's kind of you know, where this choice from right from right to left wins. Okay, so we also name them alphabetically. So guys, here's the deal. Let me use a, try and use a different color. Okay, this is our carbon number one. Okay, and that's going to be our carbon number two. Why are we choosing right to left? Because it gives the most, um, the halide groups, most of them would have the lower number of one. Okay, so the name is going to be one comma one all right now how many bromines do we have we got two of the same thing right two bromines all right so we're going to say one comma one dibromo okay what does dibromo mean i have two bromine groups where are they located both on carbon number one okay now what do you think i'm going to say for this chlorine how am i going to name that guy it's on carbon number two, right? So I simply say two chloro. Let me squeeze it in there, and a little dash should be in between the two and the chloro. Good, and I'm done. So what's the name? Let's go slowly. One one dibromo, two chloroethane. Ethane is your parent. The two carbons right here. Okay. 
Um, one one dibromo. That's these two guys on so carbon number one, and two chloro is right there, and you're done. Okay, let's do another one. You have this guy in the corner here, right? Right here. Okay, and we're not going to panic. What do we do? We find the parent chain as usual. So you can either go this way, folks. Bam. That's three carbons, long parents. Or you could choose this guy up here. Either or in this case. Doesn't matter. But I normally like to go, you know, straight like that. It's a bit more clear, uh, clear for me. But you could choose either one. They're both three carbons. So what's the prefix for three carbons? So you look on your table P if you forgot. It's prope, right? So you're going to write propane down. So I'm going to squeeze it in here. Propane. All right? Okay. Take a breath. Now, what do we have? We have from this direction or from this direction, right? The middle carbon in either case is carbon number two. So it doesn't, in this case, it doesn't matter because both of them give you the same result. So this halide group comes first. So what carbon number is it on? It's on carbon number two. So what do we say, folks? We're going to say two bromo. Okay. All right. And take a breath. Now, this one carbon group hanging out this side, what's the prefix of one carbon? Meth. Good. And if it's a branch, right? One carbon branch, it's a methyl, right? So we're going to say two bromo, two methyl propane. And you're done. Okay. And that's that. Simple. So propane, three carbons, two methyl is right here. Carbon number two, methyl group, two bromo right there, and you're done. Okay, let's move on. Bam. All right, guys. We named this already in the previous slide. Okay. I'm going to name this one right here. Okay. Now, what I want you to do, I want you guys to pause the video, and I want you to try these over here. Draw them out and try them on your own. Okay. For the sake of time, all right. But I'm gonna name this one right here. Now, what do we have here, folks? Um, let me see. Okay, we have bam, 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 bam for carbons. The longest number of carbons is three. That's propane. Okay, we have a bromine in the middle right there on carbon number two. So what's that gonna be named, folks? Simply that's gonna be named two bromo. Okay, propane. All right. How did I get two bromopropane? Parent chain, three carbons. Okay. And on carbon number two right here, that's my carbon number two in the middle. I have a bromo group, two bromopropane. How would I name this guy right here in the corner? Okay. I have one, two, three, four carbons, right? So I know from experience, I look on the table P, but is my prefix of four, right? So it's single bonded carbons only. So I know I'm going to write butane down. Butane. All right. Now it's not a normal alkane anymore because why? We have this functional group of Cl right there. So we're not going to panic. We're going to come from this direction or right to left to get the lowest number for the Cl group, right? So we see that if we come from right to left, um, this will be carbon number two, right? This is carbon number one, carbon number two. So what's the name going to be? Yes, it's simply going to be two chlorobutane. Okay. Now, normally, folks, in some textbooks, they put these names together like this, but I like to leave them a bit separate for clarity. Okay. So as I said before, guys, you guys will write these down on your own and do those. Okay. All right, no problem. All right, folks, we're writing down. If you can write the names of things, you can also draw the structures. So let's say you're given these guys right here in college, okay, and they ask you to draw these guys right here. No problem. They say pentane, right? So what do you do? How many carbons? What's the prefix for, um, what prefix, what does pent tell you? Five carbons, right? Five. Yes. All right. No problem. So you write five carbons down. Ain, single bonds only. One, two, three, four. Five. All right, take a breath. What does methyl mean? It means one carbon hanging off the side someplace. That place will be carbon number three. So you can make a choice, folks. You come from left to right or right to left. doesn't matter. So in this case, 
you're going to count from left to right, okay? So this is carbon number one, carbon number two, carbon number three. We're going to put a methyl group right there. Bam. Okay? All right. Now, what does this mean? Two chloro. We have a chlorine group on carbon number what? On carbon number two. So I'm going to put a little CL right here. CL. Bam. Okay? And they put our lines in carefully. A line around this. Okay? A line there, line there, a line around the carbons, a line there, line there, line there, line there, and I'm done. Why didn't I put a bunch of lines around this CL? CL is in group 17, okay? Seven valence electrons. If you have seven valence electrons, folks, how many valence electrons, how many more electrons do you need to have a stable octet? You need one more. So chlorine and the guys in group 17 only form one bond. So don't put any lines around the chlorine, folks. A major, major violation. All right. No problem. Let's move on. Last one. Try and get a different color. Okay. Hexane. How many carbons? Hex. Six, right? Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Good. Four chloro. Four chloro. Where is that going to go? One, two, three, four. So I put four there. Put my seal right there. Bam. Okay. Now I have two, two. Di bromo. Okay, so I know bromo means BR. What does a di mean? I have two BR groups. Okay, where they're located, they're both on carbon number two. All right, so I'm gonna do bam and bam. Okay, notice guys, you gotta put the number for wherever each of your um groups are okay even if they're in the same carbon still got to put the number for it so two two it's telling the person that both of the bromines are on carbon number two right here okay because remember you could have two three dibromo and so on so two two dibromo the person knows they're both on carbon number two okay guys notice i don't put anything around the bromine i don't put anything else around the cl they only form one bond one bond okay all right, guys, hard work plus sacrifice equals success. You have table R here to help you, all right? Um, you can draw the structures. You can name the structures. Follow the pattern. Don't panic. Go step by step. And we're going to get through this, folks. Take care.